So I'm here along the Rio Grande or Rio Bravo at the Colorado Canyon access point. And today I'm gonna kayak along this river through gorgeous canyon country and Big Bend Ranch State Park. Should be a beautiful experience. And so one thing I'm gonna do along the way is I'm going to kayak up to Close Canyon from the backside. I've hiked Close Canyon from the other way before, but you know, you can only get so far back in there unless you're an experienced climber. Should be a great adventure. Gorgeous through here. Looks like some nice little rapids just ahead. Nothing too crazy. Oh yeah. A lot of fun. Got another little set of rapids coming up here. Let's see if we can find the best route down. Sometimes it can be a little tricky. Once you commit, you can't go back. Nice, not too bad. Now that's fun right there. I'll take rapids like that all day. So we're just now really getting into the Colorado Canyon. As you can see, straight ahead. It looks gorgeous up through there. The current here is not particularly strong, most of the year. Really only if you're here during a flood is this potentially dangerous. So far the rapids are what I would call category one type stuff. Not too bad. stretch of water here yeah baby Thanks for coming out. All right, so I just got out of the kayak, maybe about a third of the way through this trip, this beautiful spot in the river. And just behind me, finally, I have made it to Close Canyon. This is the back side of it. So I've been in Close Canyon a few times from the main highway through the park, but never from the backside. So most people that hike this canyon, they come from the main trailhead there, and you reach a point where you just can't go any further because it just 
gets too rugged and crazy for the average person. An experienced climber maybe, but 98% probably won't go any further. And so I've always wondered, what does it look like from the other side? And so here we are, pretty sweet. I'm not gonna go very far, but just wanna get a quick look. There it is. Here we go. This looks like it could be a little bit rough. Let's see. Hmm. Hey there, everybody. We got cows grazing out here. How's it going, bud? I want to go over here to the left. Oh yeah, baby. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Not too bad. Uh. Pretty cool. That one, I kind of like that one. Lovely spot in the river right here. Sounds like there's some more rapids just ahead. And away we go. Looks like I got some rocks to deal with here. All right. Navigate the boulder field. Now this could be pretty wild if the river's up. Right there here. That's definitely the longest rapid that I've had so far, this one. Perhaps there's a name for it. One more small one here. So if the river's up, that one would be pretty crazy, I think. This one looks a little more tame. Can't let your guard down on these. You gotta watch for the rocks. Ugh. Ugh. Sneak up on you. Sweet.
this might be kind of difficult here. I would have pushed me into the bushes. Well, that was a pretty rough spill, but I made it okay. Heading on back down the river, a little bit wiser than before. All right. I think maybe I'm only about a mile from the end here. These rapids down here on the far end, a little more tame than further upstream. Okay. Hit that one pretty good. This is so much fun. Not too bad. That is a big rock up there. This is a fun little kayak trip. Just there's a couple of spots there where the current can drag you into some of this river cane. You really want to avoid doing that. Because <laughs> uh, you really don't want to get swept into that stuff right there. Bad news. That's what happened to me a while ago. So, don't make the same mistake I did. There's only one or two places where that's the case. <laughs> 